Exactly. <laughs> I need to start counterpicking Ring a Ding. That, that's a good song to, to, to make people uh, get angry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, yep, so ZD rocking the uh, Fox and uh, Pink Crush, of course, rocking his Min Min. And that's how you know it's serious. When they're going to the mains right off the bat. Exactly. FD2, so this is going to be a. Oh, wow, great conversion after that trade uh, traded uh, down air. Okay, and ZD should be able to get a little something else off of this. Yep, none of Min's buttons are fast enough to interrupt the hmm. string. 91% already. Big first down tilting away, but able to go back in with the Nair. Going to whip all those uh, forward airs. Speaking of forward airs, ZD's forward airs have been so uh, good right now. Oh, yeah. He's been implementing that a lot more over the last couple months. Kind of taking notes. Um, there was another Fox, not Light, who's been like kind of throwing... I want to hmm. say Louis Money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Louis Money. His, his Fox is very fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, oh not going to go skinny for the privilege. Lock. Yep. Skinny privilege. He went for the down smash, but, like, bounced a little bit too high. Mm hmm That also jab locks, right? Drag down fair? Uh, yeah, drag down fair, but, like, yeah, yeah. It can also jab lock. Okay. But I think, I mean, if down smash was, uh, if she was too skinny yeah, for down smash, it's probably, she's probably too skinny for jab. Yeah, we just need to wait for ZD to do it again, you know? We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. see then. Yeah, it's entirely possible. Okay. Not getting the auto cancel on the forward air, so not able to get a string off of that hit right there. Parry still not going to be enough to close the gap. And, okay, it, because King Fresh uh, threw out that Ram a little bit earlier, he wasn't in position to set up for a two frame. Mm -hmm. And again, that is the that is the issue. Uh, Minmin very, very good at two frame in the spaces. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not going to see it now. Not going to be able to switch to Ram Ram in time, but the classic Minmin two frames with the F tilts. Yeah, going Ooh, edgeguard configuration. Interesting grab. So. All right. Yep. Nice. That was just a beautiful edge guard. Nothing else to say. Great two frame and then great offstage presence. Yeah, able to just drop down there and pick up that stock. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. Going for uh, kind of pushing you off stage with the Ram Ram Dragon configuration with the powered up dragon. Any hit could lead into a kill for the next couple seconds here. Looks like ZD's not going to let that opportunity happen and just keeps on laying the law down on Oh, the what a spot out trade. Okay. ZD, maybe that would have been uh, a kill if that, if that uh, dragon laser hit. I think I love what he's doing there. So, of course, Min, Min only recovers with her left arm. And so if you do an option with your right arm being forward air, nair, anything, you are able to almost instantly, ooh, there it is. Nice. This time delaying just a tiny bit to be able to get the down smash. And that time it was off of a uh, new attack, attack yeah. punish as well. Ooh, a little, little uppy. Move already isn't that strong without it being enhanced. Yeah. Ooh, interesting read. Yeah. Going for the, I think, jump get up? Yeah. Right, God, I love that nair. Yep. I would say Nair is just an intrinsic DI trap on this character. And it's something I love about uh, Pink Fresh here. You saw how he was saying Megawatt until he got a hit. At 0%, Megawatt, F Tilt, and Nair combo extremely well into uh, Mimmon's other moves. And you can get 40, 50% strings off of them extremely fast. Yeah. But that pretty much I'm... goes away after 0. So you can, I like how he, he stays Megawatt and then instantly swaps off if he gets a hit. Yeah, but I mean, strings are not. Like, Pink Fresh was absolutely giving ZD the work for a couple seconds there. Mm -hmm. But now ZD is starting to land more of these juggles. How does he get away? Great time to air dodge. Goes Ooh. for a Phantasm to try and get something out of there, but not able to get anything. Now Definitely would have caught anything other. Oh, yep. Gonna... That's, a, that's a no jump. But yep. Able Fox to... not, really, not really one to go off stage too often. Mm -hmm. Often. Sorry. Yep. Able to get back just in the nick of time. But I mean, one more up smash could do it. Honestly, I'm surprised that you didn't pull the trigger on on that whiff grab. Mm -hmm. And now, okay, hit the meaty. Yep. yep, hit the meaty dash attack, and that's going to be a free combo into that back air, just barely being enough to kill their ZD taking game number one. All right, hopefully that's. Uh, I'm going to hope for a lighter-hearted song because yeah, that that gamer track was so intimidating. Please, yes, I I don't want any more of that. Mm -hmm. None. Give me like some game watch music or something. Like if I want anxiety, I could just open Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Like, They're just going to pick one wing angel. Oh, yeah. oh, let's go. This song's great. Okay. I have a lot of feelings about Three Houses, but Fold and Winds does slap. I cannot say that it doesn't. That's true. I love the music. I think the opening theme is great yeah. as well. Well, I mean, like, I guess this is the point of a light motif, but, like, it seemed like they oh. had, like, one... I'm sorry. We just got uh, Sephiroth coming out from Pink Fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah. His Sephiroth's pretty solid. I've never seen it, so I'm excited for this. Oh, back to FD. I'm interested. I'm surprised that he picked it into this matchup, though, because... Fox yeah. historically has been one of Sephiroth's worst matchups because, I mean, if you control uh -oh. the space, everything works great. But, like, how do you control space against, against Fox and Something this fast. Yeah. You have to actually play, like, three sections in the future. And when you're that far ahead, it's easy to trip up. Mm -hmm. And again, Fox is able to close this so quickly and uh, against Sephiroth. Ooh! And your light is out. Mm -hmm. Light That's as it. Kirby. 
Yeah, why? I don't know. Sakurai, but hey, help. I'm happy at, as a Gurry main, I'm happy to have another character down here. Oh, oh yeah. What yeah. a beautiful deck read. Yeah. Actually, I feel like that was a reaction. Like, he kind of stopped to skid it and wait for the slightest nice. bit of movement. Oh, yeah. That's so sick. Oh, and actually, ZD burns the jump here. This could be a free counter. That could have been a free oh, counter, wow. but I don't think ZD knew that the jump had been burned there. Yeah, unfortunate misrecovery, and this is very, right back to even. Yep, free side B, but actually, Pink getting a little bit of something there. Okay, not sweating the Dark Orb too much, just kind of shielding when appropriate. Oh, not going to be going for the uh, Tech Reader Jab Reset. Oh, yeah, and about the so when Sephiroth hits you with one orb, do you know like sort of the timing with it? Yeah, it's like it goes around, around high yeah. level, and then it's like it goes twice. Pretty much, yeah, it goes around yeah. twice, and then once it hits two o'clock, that's when it detonates yep. at, on the second rotation. Yep, two o'clock around eye level. Exactly. For most characters, yeah. All right, and now the wing is what out is again. What is eye level for plant? We don't. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I never, <laughs> I forgot plant existed. Oh come on, he's so. F oh wow, okay. I mean, let's be real. Most competitive players forget plant exists. I love Pan. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's I'm so sorry. Cool. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> Alright, but looking like forgetting existed. Um, I forgot Pink Crush's second stock existed. Let's be real. I mean, yeah, it was kind of gone. I think. Oh, what a great job he said. Eagle down F tilt. Oh, if he got that drag down forward air, I don't know if Pink Crush would attack that. Sour forward smash somehow. Interesting. Because he's so skinny. Yeah, mm. if he was a wider character, that would have sweet spot and probably killed, and that's free. Okay, ZD not quite knowing the timing, because you have like a second and a half to get a punish. On Octo Slash, yeah. Onto Slash. Ooh, what a great up air. Going to be able to get the sweet spot right in the middle of the blade. Yeah, and I love that mix up when I play Sephiroth, because once you have wing, people always forget about the third jump. So they're just like, oh, yeah, I'm good, and you're not good. Not dead yet. Oh, okay, never mind. Sephiroth's light, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's so light, but despite how rough that looked, I mean, it, it was still... It was still last stock, but yeah. then again, you have to remember, that was with an unfortunate misrecovery from ZD that did take that stock a little bit early, so I'm True. not sure if uh, Pink Fresh is going to be going back to that. Yeah, I, I don't know if that would work best. Oh, come on, show me something good. Show me something... Yes. Okay, okay. No, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Zeta, Zeta based music. Okay, this time, music. Yeah, let's yes. go, let's go. Yes, come on, yes. crown. Give me crown. Or... Give me crown. Oh, yes. Sectonia's theme from uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe. Let's go. I feel like Kirby... Like, this is a bit of a low-key take, but I feel like Kirby music has, or is the best out of all the Nintendo Oh, yeah, it, it is the most consistent. I am yeah. I am 100% in agreement with you as someone who, oh, let's go, the the uh, Pink Fresh Marth. Okay. I think this character suits him very well, and I mean, Marth Fox, like, I feel like this is a matchup where, oh, trying to do him dirty. Yeah, if he got that side, uh, side B1, that would have been insane. Yeah, that totally would have gotten the kill. You might take the lead. I'm going to be, I, I love this song way too much. Yeah. All right. You ever so, played a Kirby game? Uh, not triple dog. So I played a few others. I played mm -hmm. uh, Superstar. I played um, Air Ride. Uh, nice. Yeah. Played a fair few. Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, the one with the mirrors in the DS. Amazing mirror. Yeah. Good games. Oh, absolutely. It's they're never worth full price. To me. No, no, they're, they're definitely not. Price. Like it's only the diehard Kirby fans like me that are willing to pay for full price for it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's like what five hours of content. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But no, I, I of, enjoy every second of it. Sorry. Yeah, but speaking of not a lot of content, uh, there wasn't a lot of content on Pink Crush's stock. Right oh my, yeah, his stock is gone. Oh why? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and there we go. The character's wide enough for the jab block, so he has mm -hmm. more leeway to just go for more strings. And it's such a hard tech to hit that drag down. For real. Yeah, you kind of have, it's weird. You, it's a lot earlier than you feel like it will be. I love that near one on smash. Or up tilt, excuse me. Uh-oh, this is going to hurt. Yep. Not going for a falling up air. That's kind of what I expected him to do, but... I mean, at this percent, it would have been a little bit too high. Ooh, and that's going to be a big punish. Oh, not really. Yeah, I'm up so that you wouldn't have to be in a tech chase situation. Very smart mm -hmm. right there from Pink Crush. But ZD's just smoothing right now. Exactly. He can just kind of pick and choose the spaces, hold shield when he needs, and then just land an up smash or meaty dash oh. back in the back air again. Wow, that 106 after the hit, too. That's what Rage will do. Yeah, that Rage and also, like, since it's at the furthest person possible point of ledge, like, you're so much closer than a lot of other situations. Mm -hmm. Dude, not going to be able to go for, oh. not going for the follow-up there. That was so smart. Pink Fresh actually almost got a kill right there. Yeah, exactly. He got that side B. Yeah. But ZD, okay, Ooh, another big string. Percent. Dude, he is absolutely cooking whenever he gets a hit. All right, but it's a symphony of uh, tippers coming out right now. Yep. Oh, lands that back here. Yeah. Try he to... went for the shine spike. All right. It was actually really smart. I thought it was, it was smart, just going to yeah. drop down there because from that angle, it probably would have traded and maybe it would have been too far away at that percent. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard to contest Marthus in the upbeat sometimes, and I love that option. Yeah. Oh, you saw that smash uh, yeah, up the rear up. 
Actually, you don't think it would have killed, though. It might. I mean, it's it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong, rage. yeah, but like... Oh, oh and that's going to be dead. a DF smash. Yep. Wow, clean 3 0 coming out from ZD, and that's going to be Luna's, Luna's semi final. And uh, now we have ZD versus Seagull Joe. This bracket is moving tonight, dude. Yeah, I know. This is actually, this getting done kind of early. Yeah. I said to Rafa before, I was like, bro, like, I love casting Smash, but I'm really trying to grind some multiverses tonight. Do you think you can get us out <laughs> before 11? Yeah, and he was like, do. no, probably not. But uh, he might be proving himself to be a liar today. Fantastic. Well, we are, again, we are only two sets left, so. I think it can go pretty fast, yeah. especially with the way ZD's playing. And again, Zico, Joe, ZD, they love to just run at each other. So this, this will be a fast, hopefully a fast base and very exciting set.